which is definitely something a little bit different. I've never done this like smoky-ish looking eye before on my channel. And I'm just so excited to show you all of the new products that I've been trying out recently. I can't wait to show you. There's so many good things in here. Also, before I start, I know my voice sounds kind of weird because I'm still getting over a cold. It's like day five. But if you guys want to get this makeup look, then let's get started. And my skin is a little bit red today because I got my first facial done ever and it was amazing. And I got it done by Shani Darden and she's like this really big celebrity facialist. She does like Shay Mitchell, Jessica Alba, Rosie Huntington Whitley. She extracted all of my blackheads because I don't know if you guys can tell in the videos because of the lighting, but I have really big pores. She said some of the stuff that I might be using might not be oil free and might actually be clogging my pores. So I had a ton of blackheads, like a ton. I'll keep you guys posted because she's gonna give me like a list of like products that I should try out. As you can see, I'm starting out with a clean face. And the first thing that I'm going to do is take my shroom cream from MAC. But I only take like this size amount and just rub this all over my face. And this just gives like a really nice subtle glow. So I've recently been using this agave lip mask from Bite. And you guys don't need this. You can just use regular chapstick. But I always like to put something on my lips while I do my makeup. And they're not all dry and crusty. I also really need my nails done. So sorry that you guys have to see this. So moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using the Born This Way foundation by Too Face. Surprise, I always use this, but seriously, it is the best foundation I've ever used. This is also oil free, just like Shani recommended. So I usually always use the color light beige because I'm a little bit paler in the fall time, but I actually just self tan myself again for the first time in like forever. I actually haven't been self tanning, which is so weird. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the color warm beige to the light beige color and just blend this all out with a beauty blender. I've recently been trying out the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, so it really just goes really well with the foundation. And I also use the color light beige and this is the perfect color for my skin tone. Next up, I'm going to be using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer as kind of like a cream contour. This is the color Nutmeg. And I'm just going to be using this just on my cheeks and the top of my forehead. I'm not going to do it on my nose or anything because I don't trust myself. I really would probably mess that up. I was going to turn out bad because I haven't cream contoured in forever, but I think it looks pretty natural. I really like how it looks. So the last cream product that I'm going to use before we move on to brows is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. This is such a pretty color for the fall time. And what I do is just squeeze the bottle up until there's a little bit of product and I just tap on it with my finger because you don't want to use too much of this. And I also tap it on my fingers like this. And then I just usually smile and then tap it on with my finger. And if you need to, you can always take a beauty blender and just blend it right out. Oh, and now I'm gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love this stuff. I've never used like any other powders except this. It is a little bit pricey, but it lasts you such a long time. But I'm gonna take my beauty blender, just put this underneath my eyes and bake underneath my eyes for a little bit. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this makeup brush from It Cosmetics. Now onto brows, I'm gonna be using the Goof Proof Brow pencil by Benefit and this pencil has been one of my favorites recently because it has like a little square tip to it. It's really easy to like draw on your brows really natural looking and you don't have to worry about like messing them up because the square just helps you make the shape of your brow and it also has like a little spoolie at the end. Normally I would really like to like brush up my brows just to make them look a little bit fuller. Honestly, I don't even mind if there's a little bit of space in between my brows. I kind of like them natural. I don't like them looking like they're drawn on. Do you ever look at your eyebrows and like one eyebrow is better than the other? Because I feel like this brow is like the good brow and this is the bad brow. Then I'm gonna be taking the boy brow by Glossier in a transparent color. This pretty much just sets your brows in place and they literally do not move 
when you use this. So today I'm gonna be using the Morphe 350 palette. And I just picked this up actually from Ulta, so it's brand new, but I already had this palette and I already use it in all of my makeup tutorials. But I decided to get a new one because the other one that I had was three years old. I just love this palette because it has so many nice fall shades in here. And there's so many brown colors and neutral colors and that's what I mostly wear. And this was only $24, which I think is definitely a really great deal. So I'm gonna start out using the color newest with a fluffy brush like this. And I'm just gonna put this on my crease just to start as a transition color. So I'm gonna be taking the color So Fetched and this is kind of like an orangish brown color and it's a little bit darker than the color newest. And I'm just gonna add this to the crease. And then I like to go over it with like a clean blending brush. Moving on to the lid color, I'm going to be using a darker brown with a shading brush just like this one. And this dark color is definitely a deeper brown because we want the eyes to look a little bit more smoky. So I'm just going to put this all over my lids and I don't want to add this to the crease or anything. So you just want to make sure that it's on the lids. And with the blending brush again, I'm going to pick up the color So Fetched, which is the lighter brown color. And I just really want to make sure that this is all blended out because you don't want to have a really harsh line. Originally, I wanted to use eyeliner, but then I just changed my mind because I always use eyeshadow as like an eyeliner because one, it's really unnoticeable if you mess up. And two, I just think it's really pretty and natural. So I'm gonna be using the color Cafe, which is a really dark, deep brown color, and this little angled brush. What I normally do is take a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder, and on the outside of my eyes, I kind of make a line, and it's so much easier to create the wing. I'm just gonna clean off the shading brush and I'm gonna use the color up front, which is this nice bright white color. And I'm gonna add this to the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone just to really brighten my eyes up. So now my eyes are nice and bright looking. I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna be using the color So Fetched again underneath my eyes, blending it all out and making sure that it's nice and smoky on the bottom and it matches with the top of my eyes. So I'm gonna first curl my lashes and then I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. But I'm also going to be adding lashes today and I actually have this little Ardell lookbook but I'm gonna be using the 120s. I always love wearing lashes just to make my eyes look a little bit more dramatic. So after I added the lashes, I'm gonna be using this Physician Formula Deep Bronzer and a big fluffy brush. And even though I like cream contoured and everything, I just like to have like really bronzy skin even in the fall time. So I'm just gonna pretty much add this all over my face. After bronzer, I'm gonna be using some highlighter and this is the color Champagne Pop from Becca and I'm sure you guys have already seen this before. I'm so excited about it though because I recently just picked it up and I've been using it like crazy. And I'm just gonna use a little fan brush that I got from NYX. I found three new lip products that I'm so excited about. Um, the first is this Suede Matte Lip Liner from NYX and it's in the color London. I also picked up this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Driver and this is a matte lipstick. And then I just picked up this Buxom Lip Gloss slash Lip Plumper in the color Amy. And all three of these together are so pretty. So basically I'm just gonna overline my lips with the lip liner from NYX and I'm gonna add the Super Se Matte Lipstick on top and a little bit of the Amy Lip Gloss from Buxom. And to finish off this look, I'm gonna be using the All Nighter Spray, but this one is actually newer. This is the Pollution Protection and I live in LA so I feel like I need this and this is gonna lock everything into place. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more makeup looks, let me know down below and what type of looks you wanna see. That's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.